Here we go from Sevilla, South Africa, Ireland in our first men's cup semi-final. Ireland will be looking to join their women's side who have just qualified. And South Africa are on an incredible run, 32 wins in their streak. They want to add to that and get to this final. Delighted to be joined by Rob Bickerman, former England captain. And Rob, this is a big game for both these sides. Oh, Reese, it's absolutely massive. These games are always absolutely cracking, but it is up another level. When South Africa come to knockout rugby, they really ramp it up. This will be some task for Ireland. Ireland have never beaten the South Africans. We've got one draw to show for it. Really impressive performance so far from Connor Phillips. And of course, Terry Kennedy, always the danger man. But that side there, just to give you some perspective, the last time they won a game, we weren't talking about masks or testing or anything to do with COVID. That was pre-COVID when they lost their last match in Vancouver in the bronze medal game. So it's been a run. Gianluca Gnecki is in charge of this one. And he will have a big job to do because the breakdown is going to be heavily contested here. Well, he'll know it. Irish support in the crowd will know it as well. This is going to be a battle across the board. Every aspect you need to compete against South Africa. You don't get many chances, but this tournament more than any have seen them show some weaknesses. Ireland in the white jerseys kicking off. South Africa receiving impeccably off the kickoff. Through the hands, so many weapons in the Blitzbach aside. Oh. This time they ship it wide, and there's a half gap there. Ireland's defense has been excellent, averaging 8.2 tackles a game. That one's off the shoulder, early Vantage mistake. On. Jumping on it is Kennedy. No advantage. They're going to come back for the advantage, and a nervous start there. Yeah, it was a bit. So you don't get many chances against South Africa, but an error in their first couple of minutes is something never seen, yet alone in their first touch. So there were tentative yeah. moments there, and you can understand how much pressure they're going to put on Kennedy, because this ball goes to the one danger man of Ireland, it's actually off the head. In which case, that isn't a knock-on, but here we play on, and Kennedy gets closed down. Yes. So the Blitzbach will be on defence, and you alluded to it. In the first four games this week, they've given up 12 tries. Last week, they gave up one try. Something has changed in this Blitzbach defence. Can they re-establish the fortress that is Blitzbach defense. We will find out here, and the Irish will probe at every opportunity. Options, Ireland going the full width. Already they've stepped out of a couple of tackles. Never on the ball. Coming back against the grain. Kennedy just threw, gets the right arm free. He's going to be penalised. The arriving player, Roche, is penalised. And it almost sounds counterintuitive, doesn't it, that Kennedy has to be careful when he goes for it, because if you go one metre too far and lose your support, South Africa are magnetised to the contact. They will eat that up all day. Kennedy crucial, but the team must be aware of when and how to use him. Well, he goes to ground. Roche arrives. I guess he's not supporting his own weight. His hands go off the body and onto the ground. And there the tactics coming through from South Africa, knowing when they can really push probe and get into it, and when they just maybe stand back and observe. They are geniuses at the breakdown. They are missing Sheikh Soiz Wapi, their, their captain. He's back home in South Africa. And again, uncharacteristic, not executing. All right, then we'll have good ball. They go wide through O'Sullivan. And there is Roche. Pardon, pardon, pardon. This time, Tangler goes to Ireland. The team's going to have to start adjusting to the referees. Very quick with these decisions, and rightly so. This was a bit of a danger one. You've got to be careful tackling high. Around the shoulder, around the neck. Deemed as a high tackle. I think South Africa got away with that one. Zach Ward on the receiving end there for Ireland. Roche will use his trusty right boot to gain some territory and give Ireland a set-piece attacking opportunity. You can see what South Africa wants to do largely through Makata, their biggest man. is trying to hold up the Irish team, but they've got to be careful where their arms are going. It's better from Ireland. Again, Kennedy stepping out of one tackle. This time, the support is there in time. Oh, big hit. Makata putting the shoulder in. 
another time we'll break well. Down. We'll just give O'Sullivan a few minutes to try and put his ribs back in place. <laughs> that was an absolute monster shot. Okay, Captain. Perfect took Time the half up. tackle by those guys, and that's where you want to hit, right underneath the ball. That is Drill City. I cannot continue. Well, great shot from our yeah, team okay. here in Sevilla. Yeah, okay, Captain. Double tackle. One, only one, two, it's three, fine. So no, people no, don't no, think no, the sevens no, no, game no, is yeah. physical. Yeah. Take yeah. a look at that one. Perfect. No, no thanks. Time. My word. <laughs> Rib shots are the worst. They might be want to sneeze yeah. for the next three weeks. So Kaisa Makata, he loves it. 23 years of age in his 12th tournament here. I like this composure now. Roach, the most pumped man in the whole of Spain on that last victory. He's got the clear head now. He's putting them in position. Doesn't necessarily need to be territorially too deep into the South African territory. There. But that is going to be a platform where Kennedy can hit an outside line. And that's where they want to put him. Irish coach Anthony Eddie would be happy with the tempo that Ireland seem to be controlling affairs at the moment. Still momentarily coming back to the line-out forwards. Thought about the offload. But O'Sullivan kept it in the end. And he's won another penalty. The ref may have to have You're a chat soon. I absolutely agree with you. It's actually Robola in that situation. Wasn't so in Davids. He's like a laser over the top of the ball. He's so sharp, but just making sure the players roll away. That's what the referee wants. Can be a contest, but you've got to clear the area. And we've talked in the past about the South African teams that are happy to give away penalties. It allows them to get back and reset up. Yeah, and that's not us suggesting this referees in Malaga. First game, South Africa took on Scotland. Three penalties back to back. It was a yellow card. One more discretion, and you have to be asking the same question. Iris Paul at the front. Kennedy on it again. He's got a long way to go. Yeah, he's actually gone backwards. He's in trouble. And he's been done. Quick tap. Off they go. Big space. Grovelar. Grovelar around the outside. Turning defense into attack against the run of play. Christian Grobelar gets South Africa's first try. Oh, it's just amazing, isn't it? The combination of the defense. Said about how dangerous it is with Kennedy on the ball, but it works both ways. Adonis gets him down, started at that position as fly half, so he doesn't have support near enough to him. The forwards at the back of the line out lifting, so can't trail it. And then look at the speed of Hadal over the ball. The tap, the pass. And this is why South Africa generally score within four passes, because it's the transition from defence to attack. Any one of their seven on the field, lethal in space. Trouble art is no different. Mark Roche knows he couldn't quite do enough to grab the jerseys there. And they do have this inner confidence. They're a great unit. They're a really tight club, if you will, as the conversion is added. They're not afraid to defend for long periods of time. And then they take their moment, as you said. And they were wearing out turf in South African territory, but now Ireland back with the ball. Can't quite keep hold of it. Knocked on. Aaron O'Sullivan. Yeah. I think he's a bit surprised. He doesn't think he's knocked it on. No, I didn't see anything on that one. O'Sullivan's still appealing. Obviously, wasted breath. Not going to change his decision. But, you know, these players so emotionally involved in games. And semi-finals in cups turn on moments like that. When you see the Irish possession, they have nothing to show for on the scoreboard. They check in the defence for South Africa. Ooh, O'Sullivan, yeah, yeah. little testy on the far side there. No, no, no. Using their size up front, you can see the Irish forwards towering above the Blitzbok boys. Five. Set. Selwyn Davis to put in at the scrum. He's got options both sides. Comes back against the grain. So potent. Into space. The wee man. He's fended. He's used the handoff. Sean Williams gets his fourth try of the weekend. A big smile's on the face of Williams. Comes from the scrum. A rainbow flag flying. Didn't necessarily see a hook of the ball, but doesn't matter because it's clean enough to get head up the ball. Kennedy, he knows the step's coming, but because he's going full tilt so hard, when Williams bounces off his left, Roach again seems to be there, but not quite enough on these cover tackles. And there's not a lot you can do. The blitz block hit the straps. You've got to admire it. So with minimal possession of this conversion, which is beautifully struck, we'll give them two converted tries as the advantage at the half. 14 points to seven, South Africa over Ireland. 
now let's go sideline with a brilliant performance from the Australians. See, you're into another gold medal match. How's the group feeling after that one? Oh, pretty stoked with the effort. Yeah, it was pretty close in the end, but glad we could get the win. Yeah, they're a tough old team, the USA Eagles, aren't they? What was the approach going into that? Um, just really sticking to the basics. Um, on our restarts, we struggled a bit there, but um, just playing together as a team, we got the job done. Got one big game left in you? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Good luck in the gold medal match. Well done. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. That gold medal match against Ireland women's team coming up. This one, semi-final of the cup. It's Ireland trying to get that right for the men's team. This game still to come. The Pumas of Argentina against Australia. Semi-final two. Trying to figure out which type of X-Man Gonzalez is as he just marauds around the place. <laughs> How good is it? Flip-flop in the semi-finals. Men and women, all action, all court. And the drama's always there. Well, you called that game last week. Argentina's men's final was really epic and they were very unlucky in some ways not to beat this outfit, the South Africans. Yeah, they were. They'll get confidence from that. They will indeed. But the fans are now bouncing. The South Africans are dancing. The Swiss are dancing. <laughs> it's all happening here in Sevilla on the HSBC World Series. Week two in Spain. Times fighting for a place in the final. More subdued support there, but they're in the sun on that far sideline and they're enjoying this. As are the South Africans. Coach Neil Powell will be happy with the 14 point lead. South Africa, kick long. Fingertip catch, and he's off and running. Good work from Back Zach Ward in the air, and he stays on the park. A little bit more direct here through Tom Roche. And the big man, Phillips, is on the field. He's got three tries this weekend. We're looking to add to his account and get Ireland on the board. Quick pick from Roche, maybe an offside there in defense. Play on, says the ref. Again, no visible overlaps. That Blitzbach line taking the face away, particularly for Kennedy, who is the danger man, as you said, Rob. We're going to look for some slightly different system. The Blitzbach are just waiting for them in the midfield. Need to stretch the South Africans a bit more, Ireland. Connor Phillips takes a big hit there. Options a bit frantic. Ireland going backwards for the moment. And the Blitzbach putting in the big tackles. Awanusi gets one away. There's a step, but no space to step into from Ross. And it's a penalty against Ireland. And those who know their sevens don't even need to take a breath to realize as soon as the defender is over the top of it, the referee's arm is going to go straight in the air. Isolated Irish attackers just from exhaustion trying to batter the way through there we go after the seemingly a brick wall the green of South Africa so often intact within seconds they realign okay. well that's why they haven't lost to Ireland yet they really frustrate teams and then they end up taking high risk options there is Tom Rose the 23 year old joining his brother on this side okay thank you wait please on yes his second event on the World Series number 11 white sub 11 so South Africa throwing at the line out. Again, they're controlling the tempo. Just over five Wait. minutes to play. Okay. The you time back how efficient they are. A try within four passes in their last few games. So it's a case of them making sure the ball gets wide and then watching them fly. Good pace on that pass and he's hit it hard. Will he win the foot race? Kennedy's across, but he can't do enough. Justin Hulu in the corner. Textbook stuff from first phase. And a lovely moment there, Kennedy just shaking the hand of Hedel in the end goal. He recognizes how class this guy is as attackers. And it's just through set piece play, ball out the back. But because that ball's hit on the angle, the line that Hedel takes and the strength that he's got to see off 
Terry Kennedy might well have a bit of hair along the way, which is why he said sorry, but either way, Haddock gets the ball down, that right-hand roll, grip on the ball. And that's a senior player stepping up when it needed to. Well, I was just going to say, we mentioned they have so many weapons. Hedul with 51 appearances on the series to his name. He decided it was his moment, two minutes into the second half, to make something happen. And it's that accuracy that underpins everything that South Africa do. Doesn't matter what facet, they just don't make errors. We saw one in the first minute, and that's pretty much it. Not one more since then, and look at the timeline on the left. They seem to have a team culture underneath Powell where they don't Not really on. tolerate mistakes. And there's so much depth as players back in South Africa fighting. You can lose someone like Sheikh Zorzwapi and it appears they can replace him and still get to another final. A little extra roll there from Ireland, but steam legal. They need something and they need it quickly. Good step there from Kearns. But again, Kennedy has no space. And again, Kennedy's been penalized in the breakdown. He is falling on his front a lot, and it's in it hurting his players who want to support him. Over the top, is it forward? No! Into space goes Zane David. Thought he could have stolen that ball, possibly. The discipline, they don't risk their hand out wide. They just keep putting the pressure on. Although they may... Oh, that seems to be harsh. Yeah, not really yeah, I agree with you there. I think that's a tough call. Referee clearly on the spot. But you think from everything we see in those moments as the referee did. It's fine there. You can go. Slow. He just play it with his foot. So again, a set move. The offload, the rare offload to South Africa. The kick chase was he impeded? Number 10. Referee is going to say yes, and he's going to go yeah. for a yellow. It's right after the kick. It'd be good to have another look at this one, Rob. Hopefully it's not a flop. I don't think there's anything to the ball. can complain about that. The intent was there. As soon as the ball's on the floor, you've got to get out of the way. You don't have to change your line necessarily, but you certainly can't grab them. And it's a real shame. The one man you want to stay on the pitch for his bit of magic is going to find himself sitting down for two. <laughs> oh, that one's going to go forward. Ooh, a little <laughs> pushing and shoving there. Roche and David. I don't know if I would have poked the ball. That would be a bit of an error. <laughs> Sub. Khedul just calming down the youngster. He wants the ball. He thought the call was coming his way. And David said, What are you doing? Roche, boys. He's his brother with him. <laughs> it is cup semi final time. Close. Ireland with tons of ball, but nothing to show for it. Bind. They're backed up on their own trial, and they need something really quick, and they need a bit of a miracle. Free kick to them. Quick tap from Roche. Surely that man's not 10, and he isn't. Again, South Africa knowing what they're doing in many ways, just giving away pens. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Nevert that right no, by having a 19-point lead might well be cynical from people's point of view. Not anybody retreated. I mean, the only question I would ask you, if he wasn't 10, that could be a yellow to level things up. But either way, South Africa, yes. they play the game. They understand the system at the moment. The line, they are the matrix. People have to try and crack it. Ireland have to achieve the impossible with only six men on the field. They haven't secured the ball. Williams goes back and keeps it alive. Again, no high-risk options from the blitz pocket. And now the left boot of Selvin Davids puts this into space. It's a foot race. Can he get a bounce? He's hit it hard. He needs to nudge it again. Does... Glover, he's hit it too hard. <laughs> Great chase from now Comerford. Time off. But I think the Fundu and Glover Time off, Ireland, please. has just gone too far. I think he did, but it looked like the ball got thrown back in, yeah. in which case Comerford kicked it out. Yeah. So this could be yeah. a South African scrum on the five. So two things looking Chicken for. Toronto, Not Toronto. only where the ball is, the context, but if Glover pulls his back in field and then remains in field, Cumberford then hits that out, but because it's over the try line already, it's shipped by the wind. Sorry, I don't hear you, James. I like what I you're have thinking there, though. Good work from our referee no team here, having, working as a the team, as they always do. Therefore, please restart with a 22-meter dropout. The Italian. 22 meters, okay. Great. 22 meters. 
No try. You just drop out. Well, as always, the series drama. This cup semi-final is not going to go the way of the Irish. Let's only find something. Still only six men on the field. Their danger man, Terry Kennedy, who's had a quiet semi-final. He's in the sin bin. This is really icing on the cake. Beautifully weighted kick. And look at that bounce. No surprise. Look at this, just puts it on the left foot. It's the end of the ball, so it pops up. Nice take. No one there as he looks back. He gets a free run in. And Selvin Davids gets his fifth try of the weekend. Mr. Knockout scored in seven of the last ten knockout stages. This guy knows where the line is when it matters most. And that is the game so there it is first cup final semi-final this